Hi, Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. So for today's topic, we are still in module 6, getting around. And today we are going to learn means of transport. Okay, first, here are the two learning objectives of today's lesson. First, you should be able to tick the correct statement based on the reading text. Next, you should be able to write five simple sentences. Alright, here are today's vocabulary. Listen and repeat after me. Motorbike Taxi Tuk-tuk Gondola Snowmobile Wheel Comfortable Exciting Tourist Slow Lesson, we are going to read a reading text from Get Smart Plus 4, page 62. You can get ready with your textbook. Listen and read together. 1. How many different means of transport do you know of? Listen and read. Then match. Social studies. Different means of transport. 1. A tuk-tuk looks like a motorbike with three wheels. The driver sits in the front and two to three people can sit in the back. Many tourists take tuk-tuks in Thailand. They can be faster than taxis. Riding in tuk-tuks is fun and exciting too. 2. Gondolas are long boats. In the past, people used them in Venice, Italy to get from one place to another. Gondolas are very slow. Riding in a gondola isn't very comfortable, but tourists love it. 3. People ride snowmobiles on snow. Snowmobiles haven't got wheels. They have got skis. They can go very fast. Snowmobile drivers have to wear a helmet and very warm clothes. It can get very cold on a snowmobile. All right, let's take a look at this reading text. We have three different transportation. What is transportation? Transportation is kenderaan. All right, from the first paragraph, it is talking about a tuk-tuk. A tuk-tuk. A tuk-tuk looks like a motorbike with three wheels. Okay, we have A, B, and C. Which one do you think is a tuk-tuk? Right, a tuk-tuk looks like a motorbike with three wheels. Okay, let's look at the pictures. Okay, picture B has one wheels, two wheels, and three wheels. So, B is tuk-tuk. Paragraph 2, gondola. Gondola are long boats. Okay, so A and C, which one is gondola? It is A. A is gondola. Paragraph 3, snowmobiles haven't got wheels. There are no wheels. It has skis, right? So C is a snowmobiles. Okay, this is your reading task. Tick the correct statement, tandakan rakyat pada kenyataan yang betul. Okay, let's read statement number one. It has got wheels. Okay, which transport has wheels? Ada roda. Number two, it's a kind of boat. Number three, it hasn't got wheels. Okay, the transport does not has wheels. Number four, 
It's slow, slow like a turtle. Sangat perlahan. Number five, drivers have to wear warm clothes. Warm clothes, pakaian yang tebal, yang panas. Number six, tourists take it. Pelancong menaiki kenderaan ini. So, which one is the correct statement? Which one is the transport? Is it tuk-tuk, gondola or snowmobile? Alright, for the next task, you are going to write five simple sentences using the phrases given. Tuliskan lima ayat. Okay, first, let's take a look at the words given to you. Travel. Melancung. Play. Go. Buy. The. To. Gondola. School, bike, guitar, snowmobile, is, fun, exciting, slow, comfortable, selesa. Alright, so how are you going to make the sentence? Okay, first... Take the first word in the first box. Okay, ambil perkataan dalam kotak pertama. Okay, you should add ing. Tambahkan ing. Okay, for example, traveling, playing, going. Okay, and then choose one word from the second box. Traveling to. Traveling to. Melancong ke. Travelling de, melancong di. Travelling by, melancong dengan. Okay, for example, I want to use by. Travelling by, melancong dengan. Okay, gondola, school, by, guitar, snowmobile. Okay, gondola, melancong dengan gondola is sangat. Is it fun? Is it exciting? Adakah ia menarik? Adakah ia menyeronokkan? Is it slow or comfortable? Okay, I want to use slow. Gondola is slow. Okay, so your sentence will be Traveling by gondola is slow. Alright, remember to put capital letter to start your sentence. Okay, so now it's your turn to write five sentences using the phrases given. Kenapa guna lima ayat? Kita akan gunakan semua lima perkataan dari kotak yang ketiga. Gondola, school, bike, guitar and snowmobile. Good luck! Alright, this is a project for you. Okay, you have to create a transport from any materials available at your home. Cipta satu kenderaan daripada bahan-bahan yang ada di rumah. For example, you can make a boat out of ice cream sticks or sponge or egg cartons. Okay, daripada bekas telur, sponge, daripada batang ice cream. Or you can make a bus. From a milk carton, you can make a lorry if you have any box or any papers at your home. Dengan menggunakan botol, you can also make a train or a motorcycle, a motorbike. Okay, you can also use a recycle paper cup and also ice cream sticks to make a bicycle. So, you have one week. Do your project. Ada masa seminggu untuk hasilkan satu kenderaan. And in the next lesson, you are going to present your transport. Good luck everyone! That's all for today's lesson. Thank you. Stay safe and healthy. Stay at home. Bye!